Hey everybody. Well, we got sunshine today. <laughs> and I'm ready to get the Christmas stuff going here. So let me see what I got. All right. Okay, so we'll st finish up Thursday. I actually attached this to a different video at that my December daily um, doing this, putting it together because of the Happy Meal that I got. Um, this was from the day before. So this was from Thursday. And um, I just put the package label that Tina had on the package and all her washi, some of the material. This was from the package, the envelope. And then the Christmas card that she gave me with some more of the material in this pretty decorated envelope that she did and this pretty clip. So I thought I should at least um, get this put in here. So let me get a piece of paper that I can do my gluing on. I have stickers everywhere, of course. Somebody recently asked me about my glass mat. This is from Tonic Studio, and I really like it because if you get, if I get glue on it or paint or ink, you know, whatever, I can just wipe clean it off. And then um, it's really great because it's got all these measurements. Like here, um, um, you have on the, like the whole side is, it's 12 by 12, but it's got that zero on all the sides so that you can line something up perfectly um, center if you want to. So it's really a lot of, uh, I really enjoy it. It's really great mat. Um, and you can get it on Amazon. Uh, you can also go to Tonic Studios. You can Google glass mats. It's called a glass cutting mat. But you know, you could even do like, you know, the Tim Holtz inks, distress inks. You could even do them and activate them with water on this or watercolors, anything, paint, acrylic paint, and then be able to clean it off afterwards. So it really is a great um, tool to have, I think. I really like it. All right, let me get my Christmas washi that I like. Love this one. I just love this one so much. So let's put this one on. It's Saturday morning, and I, I'm going to be busy, the, you know, a fair amount of Saturday because we have a Christmas gathering with my dad and his wife and my daughter and her family. And um, so we'll be going to that. But um, I have some time in this morning to do this. So I'm like thinking, yeah, because this weekend's busy. Tomorrow I won't be able to do anything because... We have church, and then we go to my brother-in-law's, and my father-in-law and his wife will be there. So um, it's going to be, oops, oh, it's going to be busy, and I will probably not have time to really, you know, do much of anything unless I can somehow sneak in a, um, oops video. I don't know. We'll see. All right. I just love this stuff. It goes really good with that craft too, you know. I think that's why I like it so much. So I'm just, basically I'm just finishing this page up. Um, and moving on. So let's put this one on here. This is so pretty. Okay, so that was Thursday. So now I want to do yes uh, to yesterday's, which was f the Friday one. And I will take this clip off while I do this, but I want to put it back on because I want it over this envelope. 
So here's this one. I'm just going to go ahead and get this on, and then I will talk about the day a little more. Um, it did get up in the 30s. It got up to like 37 yesterday. We're, I think we're going to end up losing all our snow for Christmas, and it's going to be rather a brown Christmas, but um, unfortunately, I do like a little snow, but there's just nothing in the forecast, so... I don't think it's going to happen, you know. That's just unfortunately how it is sometimes. So I went to work and um, I had been doing the social media content for several days and I was just getting so tired of it. And I thought, so I left a job. Well, I decided to do a job that I usually do at the beginning of the year. I just decided to do it so that I would um, have something to do besides be on the computer. So I did that, and that was simply, we have, um, every year we have vendor invoices, and we have to... Um, do new ones for each year. So I spent the time sorting through, um, ended up keeping 150 vendors. It seems like a lot, doesn't it? And bills, vendors, places that we get charged for, 150 folders. So I went through, got rid of all the folders we didn't use from last time, peeled the labels off and made new labels for 2019 and got that all done. So that was fun. I, I enjoyed doing that. Um, it took up some of the time, which was really nice. <laughs> so let's put this one down here. Oh, my poor washi is just, you know, it's just getting old. So somewhere, cause see that there, I don't know how that happened. I will just take off that little bit that's hanging over. I should see that I'm centered so you're not missing bits and pieces. There we go. All right, so anyway, when I came home, I had that gel, a jello dessert to make. So I did that and um, had a couple Christmas cards. So I've got some stamps from the cards. And here's the stuff for making the jello salad. And then I got a Happy Meal, sort of, I'm gonna say, it's, it, it's a Happy Meal, I guess. Let, let's just call it a Happy Meal. But I'm gonna put these on first. So I've got the jellos, I've got the gelatin, the sweetened condensed milk. You can put that like this. And look at this, I had an old package and here's a new package. I've had this for a long time. You can see, see the yellowed around it. So <laughs> I thought that was kind of entertaining. Let's go like this. Okay, so this one first. So yeah, I did that. Um, I got my Happy Meal was part, just partly something I purchased. My friend Sandy had discovered she had a bunch of Christmas golden books and so she offered them for anybody who wanted to buy any on Instagram where she showed them all. And so I um, ordered two I'll show those to you in a second. And she sent me them, and they arrived yesterday, but with a extra surprise. Because she included an extra book. And another surprise that was really amazing. So I thought that was so nice. And um, I will show that to you in a second. I want to get this jello down. There we go. And then we'll do, um, let's just do this as a flip. And then I think this would be a good spot to put 
um, this. And I think, oh yeah, I didn't do my, didn't do my owl. There we go. I'm gonna put the owl here, this, um, this one, okay? Oops. All right, let's clean that up a little, and then let's just put this on um, kind of as a flip. Not really, because I'm just gonna use adhesive runner in it. So, but I kind of wanted it so you could just lift this up and see this gelatin as compared to this gelatin. And then let's just put a sticker on here. Let's put this cute little Santa sticker there. Okay, so then I said I had some stamps. So, this was on the back of one of the envelopes. I'm gonna save that to put that on something. But the stamps, let's go back to the front of the book. Look at that. How did that come off? Obviously, I did not tie that well, did I? <laughs> oh, dearie. Dearie, dearie. Let's do it, um, let's do a double knot. Okay, there we go. All right, so here's my stamp. So, yep, there's a different one right there. So that's good. So I'm just gonna peel off the extra stuff around the stamp. Because I want it to fit. And we'll stick that in there. And then this one is a bird one. Isn't that beautiful? And then the way they did the postmark right over it. Oh, I love it. So much. Okay, and I bought some of those bird stamps. I thought they were so pretty. I think I just threw my stamp in the garbage. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. All right. So let's put this one here. And the bird one. Let's put you right down here. Okay. I like that. So there we go. Let's pull that up. My stamps and then back here, all done. So cute. Okay, let me show you what she sent. Um, here's the books I ordered first. I ordered the Red Night Before Christmas, a little golden book, and this is um, 1977. Oh, and it's just so cute. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to read these books to my granddaughter. And that's what I got them for, just to have them because I like them and to read to her. Here we have the Red Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, and that is 1976. So adorable. And then the one she surprised me with was The Littlest Christmas Elf. I've never read this one ever. 1987. Ugh, isn't it just adorable? I didn't realize they say who the illustrators are. Terry Super. Pictures by Richard Scary. Oh yeah, of course, he's so familiar. Illustrated by Corrine Malvern. So cool. And then slipped in the back of one of the books was this beautiful vintage bell. And it says, this is an invitation to join our new Christmas club, a club to fit every pocketbook. West Bergen Trust Company. <laughs> anyway, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. And it's going to go in my Christmas book. So, which I did actually, I finished 
uh, catching up on some of the writing. Did this, and I did, oh yeah, I did a Christmas quote. So that's kind of where I am with this. So, yeah, so this is coming along. So I think I'll put this here. I want to put it so I don't, don't, I want to be careful not to, well for now I'm just going to set it in there and just be careful what I do with it, but oh my gosh, so cute. So yeah, that was my little treasures of the day. Um, if you want to know what I'm doing with my December daily, I decided to do some of the writing ahead. I just, like, I'm doing the best I can with this, but I don't know. I don't have the mojo for it, but I'm just, I'm trying. <laughs> I, maybe as I go along, it'll get a little bit more better. Like here, I've totally forgot to put um, a cup, because all these things that to me signify warm and cozy, and I forgot to um, put something there. But the things that do that for me are like hot cocoa, Christmas blanket, Christmas story, fireplace, lit Christmas tree, Christmas music, a comfy chair, grandchild on my lap, Christmas cookies, and family gathered around on Christmas morn. Those are the things that I like. And I think I cut out some Christmas stuff. So let me see. And I don't know if I put it in here. I might not have cut any Christmas magazine stuff out yet. But I was going to take a peek. No, I thought maybe I did and put it in here. I did not. Okay. I don't know why I was thinking that I did. Okay, so maybe I can find something that it has... Um, I thought I saw something with hot cocoa on the cover. Yeah, so where is it? It's one of these things. Uh, this has hot cocoa, but that's not it. Hmm. Here's one, no, it was probably a little picture or something, I'm going to guess. Oh, here it is, Hello Winter. There's a cute picture here of hot cocoa, so I've got the time, so I'm just taking it and cutting out. Um, Working a little bit on getting this one. There we go. I like that. All right. Yeah. Okay. So we'll put that there. That's that's a good one. And let's just. Do it like this. All right. And we'll put that right there. And then I think I'll go around it with this. Might as well attach my this December daily on here. This one's from day nine. I just didn't realize that I hadn't um, actually finished this. So let's put this little cup of hot cocoa here. And then let me see if there is some words. Something I could put on here. Here we go, holiday cheer, which you can't really see, but anyway, <laughs> it's there, it's there. 
Let's see if there's anything else I could slip in here um, for the warm and cozy part. Maybe this, because this looks, I'm going to cover that thing over because you can't even see it. Because this looks warm and cozy. All right. Okay, I think that's good. And let's throw, well, it's almost good. Let's throw a gingerbread man up here. Okay, then we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Here's today, 15, and the up tomorrow is 16. So I, I did it. I decided to write first. So favorite things about the holidays. And I just put, how do you pick one favorite thing? I love the songs, the lit tree, the lights, decorating the homes outside. The movies, so much. I love it all. But I think, I think, <laughs> I'm always doing that. I think, I especially love the extra joy, peace, hope, and love that seems to be present among us. Um, kindness. Kindness is the word I chose. So, maybe what I'll do is put this here. Let's see. I in D kind in. Oh, look at that. All right, let's move it up. And honestly, I know I'm going to have to, I'm probably going to have to glue these in. That one that's stuck. Because they'll probably fall out. But we'll get them in place first. Oh, I had a green S left. It doesn't always happen. S and S. Kindness. I like that. All right, put those back. Um, anyway, I'm thinking just to give these a little bit of extra oomph to stick that I should do a little bit of this glue because I'm afraid they won't stick otherwise. So, okay. I mean, they, they act like they're gonna stick, but uh, I don't know. I, I've had them fall out before, so that's why I'm like not totally trusting in. Well, this one's really sticking, but I don't care. <laughs> D, maybe I managed to spell it correctly, which is a miracle. In. E, oops, E, S, and S. Now I don't have to worry about them falling out because I was a little concerned. There we go. Kindness. I think, don't you feel like there's an extra bit of kindness to the season? Like, people are kinder. I really do feel that that is true. So, I think what I'm going to do, I wish they had these cut out around some of these ornaments so they did what I wanted them to do. They don't. Anyway, maybe what I'll do is... Um, Let's 
stickers here and there just for like the prettiness the prettiness this here that there let's get a cute gingerbread boy and we can put this one up here and this one down here and some walnuts <laughs> I suppose that goes kind of with nutcrackers, right? Let's just put the walnuts around. It's kind of fun. Oh, come on. Okay. And I have one little... There we go. That was fun for today. So yeah, I managed to get today's December Daily done too. And I like that. I like how that turned out. Okay, so we have quite a bit done. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that and hope you have a great weekend. Bye.